Okay, that I, <laughs> I'm recording on my computer as opposed to my my phone. So we're going to see how this one works out. It looks like it's a little bit easier for me to stabilize it. Um, it's hard not to not to record a lot when you have a high definition camera and, and camera built right into your computer. So as an introduction, the series is I'm going to talk a little bit about writing, a little bit about myself. I'm going to try to keep this one shorter than my last video. I'm just going to start putting these things out consistency. So uh, I. I am in my apartment. I am alone. I do not wear this every day. I just happen to, uh, it's the only sweatshirt I have here in my apartment. Usually I'm wearing a suit and a tie. So, um, I wanted to talk about today was, uh, writing tips. I am a writer. My name's Colin Earl. I've written, I've written two books right now. Um, well, actually three books. My first book was called The House of Grey. It's a modern fantasy thriller as coined by my production assistant, and manager, uh, Christopher Snellgrove, who actually happens to be my partner um, in the second series that we wrote together, which is Harmonix, and has two books in it. It's Harmonix, Rise of the Magician, and Harmonix Re Revelations. So I wanted to start talking about just, just writing writing tips. And we're going to talk about stories, we're going to talk about elements, we're going to talk about uh, a bunch of things. But the first thing I wanted to start talking about is if you're an aspiring writer, like me, like everyone else, um, you know, the, the most important thing you can do is write. You know, I, I just did a review on Christopher Paolini's Inheritance, which is the fourth book in his, in his cycle, um, is the fourth book in that series. Four, four books over 12 years. I, I, that is not something I would call prolific. Um, I think the key to good writing and to be successful at writing is to just do it a lot. You know, if you you look at people like oh, Stephanie Meyer, uh, Stephen King, you know, uh, you know, there's uh, and, and many, many, many others. Terry Brooks, um, Ocean Scott Card. I mean, people have been really successful in writing. Not like, you know, J.K. Rowling, because that just kind of blew up, but this is writing. I think the most important thing that they have done is being prolific, prolific. Am I saying that correctly? <laughs> is to write a lot. They write a lot. Um, you know, you can see it in this ebook phenomenon too. Uh, there's people on the ebook forums who are not, you know, these super megastar people who are doing well and making money just through ebooks, through Kindle and, and Barnes and Noble. But the thing that, you, that seems to be the most consistent, adjust the camera here a little bit, seems to be the most consistent is writing. They actually sit down and write. So, my first piece of advice is you've got to find time to write. And to do that, you're going to have to sacrifice. I try to write every day. And I try to write, and I'm not a, I'm not a binge writer. I don't sit there and or sit down and write, you know, 15,000 words or 20,000 words. I sit down and I try to write a thousand words at a time. Now, for me, I, I have several stories I'm working on. I'm working on a rewrite of The House of Graham, working on the third book of Harmonics, I'm working on a short series called Conversations with Death. Um, I'm working on outlines for another series. I find it easier for me if I get stuck in one story to transition. I know a, a lot of people don't find that easier. A lot of people have a real hard time with being able to write um, multiple stories at a time. But that works. That works for me, and I always write from an outline. But I always sit down and I write a thousand word, or words a night. Your average size of your book, you know, ten years ago, you would see books that were. Robert Jordan is a perfect example who you know passed away not too too long ago. And his Wheel of Time series, his average book is like eight or nine hundred pages. With ebooks and stuff like that, and audio and some of these other new mediums, you're just not seeing those those bigger books anymore. The House of Grace, three hundred and twenty thousand words, and it's about oh, it's a little more than a thousand pages. I mean, it's a big book, and that's a YA fantasy, and it's just it's too it's too big. Um, uh, it's just, it's, it's huge, <laughs> you, you know, you're not seeing those anymore. Um, and so, you know, if you're writing books that are 60, 70, 80,000 words, the first Harry Potter, I believe is 71,000 words, if I remember correctly. Um, if, if you're writing books that size, you, there's no reason you shouldn't be able to bust one of those out every six months, even with a job, you know, if you're writing a thousand words tonight. So 
I'm going to leave it there. First piece of advice, write. Sit down and do it. Um, you know, force yourself to sit down and you don't have to make some sacrifice. Turn off the damn television. You know, uh, uh, you know, stop, <laughs> stop going out with friends, stop going out drinking. Sit down, thousand words a night. Write, and I guarantee it. After three months, if you're working a thousand words a night, you're gonna have a ninety thousand dollar, a ninety thousand dollar, a ninety thousand word book. You know, thousand words, a thousand words a day. That's my first piece of advice. These are uh, writing tips from an aspiring writer. Uh, Colin Earl, you can find out more about me and my projects at www.colinearl.com. This is my YouTube channel. I'm going to be updating to this with reviews, and I'm going to talk about anime. I'm going to talk about all sorts of dorky stuff. So um, come back, and I promise maybe, maybe next time I won't be wearing this. <laughs> Peace out.